In the Jurassic Park franchise, there has been four apex carnivores that have roam Site A and Site B. This, of course, is the T-Rex, the Velociraptors, the Spinosaurus, and the Indominus Rex. And when it comes to these two islands, Site A is a lot more well-known in the franchise. It was the host of Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, and briefly Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And this island, in terms of how it was planned, was much more civilized. It was supposed to be the Showcase Island, while Site B, also known as Isla Sorna, is where the dinosaurs would be made and bred. They would then be shipped over to Site A, and that is where all the paying customers of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World could see them. And it all was fine and well with dinosaurs like the Carnotaurus, Allosaurus, and even Tyrannosaurus Rex to an extent. But when it came to Jurassic World, we saw the introduction of the Indominus Rex. And after seeing how this dinosaur hybrid was handled, there really was no scenario where this dinosaur could thrive in a dinosaur theme park. It was far too powerful and intelligent, so that does seem like it would be more suited for Isla Sorna. And that brings up the question, what if the Indominus Rex was placed on Site B? This island is far more realistic of a dinosaur island. There are apex carnivores that roam certain parts of the island dominating the territory, and there are not too many restrictions on these dinosaurs. If the Indominus Rex was placed right into the center of the island, it would be right in the middle of two different ecosystems. Apparently Jurassic Park The Lost World takes place in the southern part of the island, and that does tell us that dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus Rex family, the Velociraptor pack, and the Stegosaurus are down there. These are all very formidable creatures in their own way. When we look back at Jurassic World, we saw the Indominus Rex fight Rexy. And as we know, Rexy is the biggest Tyrannosaurus Rex in the entire franchise. And unfortunately, without Blue or the Mosasaurus, she would have been defeated by the Indominus Rex. Now, what makes the southern part of Isla Sorna so different is that this is a T-Rex family, and they are not too far off the size of Rexy. The male Tyrannosaurus Rex is about 15 to 16 feet tall and 40 feet in length. The female Tyrannosaurus Rex, on the other hand, is 42 feet long and about 16 feet in height. So relative to the Indominus Rex, they are smaller, but it wouldn't have too much of an impact due to the fact that they are in a pair. So based on Jurassic World, the Indominus Rex does hunt for sport, so you would assume if this dinosaur did travel south, it would fight the T-Rex family on first sight. And because this dinosaur hybrid is so intelligent, you would assume when it is outnumbered, it would immediately use that camouflage ability. This would allow it to ambush and potentially get a jump start on the battle. Now I do believe in some sense, you can make an argument that this is the most difficult battle on the entire island for the Indominus Rex. And if this dinosaur was to get past this fight, it would then have to fight the Lost World Raptors and herbivores like the Stegosaurus. Even in this case, if it were to kill off one Tyrannosaurus, it could retreat and come back the next day to fight the other. That actually wouldn't fit the intelligence level of this dinosaur. Now when it comes to the Lost World Raptors, they are a bit different than the Northern Raptors. Like we saw in the Lost World, they enjoy staying hidden and lurking in the shadows, waiting to ambush their prey in high grass. So if the Indominus Rex were to travel through this grassland, that would be of great benefit to the Velociraptor pack. Now the issue is, like we saw in Jurassic World, the Irex basically had no issue at all fighting the Raptor pack. One by one it would kill them off, and they basically did no damage. The most any one of them did was distract. That was blue when the Irex was about to kill Rexy, and then it did allow Rexy to get back up and attack as well. So it's not out of question to believe that the Indominus Rex would wipe them out. Now I guess the main difference is that the Velociraptors are much more experienced in combat. As far as we know, the Jurassic World Raptor pack really never fought any other dinosaurs. And then when it comes to a herbivore like the Stegosaurus, it would be very similar to the Ankylosaurus seen in Jurassic World. Maybe the Stegosaurus would land a few shots, but the Indominus Rex eventually would come out on top. It is just one of the most durable dinosaurs we have ever seen in the franchise. So when it comes to the southern part of the island, it might be safe to assume that the Irex would come out on top. Now again, like I said, the T-Rex family might be able to kill it off, but if the Irex can single one now and then come back later, you would have to give it the advantage. And again, like I said, that is something the Indominus Rex would do. That is simply how intelligent this dinosaur is. But traveling away from the southern part of the island, I think it would come away with a lot of damage. No matter what dinosaur you are, it is hard to fight a Tyrannosaurus Rex pair, a Velociraptor pack, and a Stegosaurus, and come out with no damage. So as this dinosaur hybrid does travel to the northern parts, that is the consensus most dangerous part of the entire island by most fans. This is because there is a dinosaur up there that is very similar to the Indominus Rex in many ways. It was described at one point as being able to wipe out the entire ecosystem on the island. It is also talked about as the first unofficial hybrid in the Jurassic Park franchise. This, of course, is InGen's extremely aggressive Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. 
When you compare Jurassic Park 3 and Jurassic World, these two dinosaurs are very similar in many ways. Anytime we saw the Spinosaurus, it was always willing to fight, and we even know Eric Kirby used Tyrannosaurus Rex urine to attract the Spinosaurus. And that is something you would not expect from other carnivores. Of course, these dinosaurs are territorial, but wanting to fight other massive carnivores is something you would think the Spinosaurus would avoid. However, very much like the Indominus Rex, it does seem like it has that killing for sport mentality. And then on top of the Spinosaurus, there is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a Velociraptor Pack, and a Ceratosaurus. The first thing I want to talk about is the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor Pack. They are much more upfront, they are much more tactical, and there is a lot more communication. They are very intelligent dinosaurs. So it does make you wonder because they would be more upfront about the fight, they would see each other right before the fight, and there could be a callback to Jurassic World. As we know in that movie, the Indominus Rex and Velociraptor Pack teamed up. This is because the Indominus Rex is part raptor, and the Indominus Rex became the new alpha. However, like I did talk about with the Lost World Raptors, they are far more experienced. The Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors live around the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Spinosaurus, so I think they would be intelligent enough to know that this dinosaur hybrid is a threat, and they either would back off or fight right away. If they were to fight out of all the Velociraptor packs in the Jurassic Park franchise, I think you can argue that they would give the best fights. They are very intelligent, they are very experienced, and they are a strong pack of four. However, the Indominus Rex likely comes out on top. Then the Indominus Rex would continue wiping out dinosaurs like the Ceratosaurus, Juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex, and then it finally would come across the Spinosaurus. Now this battle is one that has been debated many times, and this really all does depend on where this battle takes place. If it is an aquatic environment, the Spinosaurus most likely dominates the Indominus Rex. When it comes to on land, I believe the Indominus Rex likely comes out on top more times than not. That isn't to say the Spinosaurus can't win, but the Irex is a bigger, more intelligent, and a more capable version of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It has the bite force of a T-Rex, but it also has those long arms like a Spinosaurus. So when you think about the Spinosaurus versus T-Rex fights, the Spinosaurus barely has the size advantage, it has the long arms, but the Tyrannosaurus Rex has a massive bite force. When it comes to the Indominus Rex, it has all of those advantages over the Spinosaurus. Now the thing is, the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 is far more durable than any dinosaur we have seen. So you can assume this battle could be drawn out, and as it does get drawn out, the fight could end up in a river or a lake, and that's when the Spinosaurus could come back. So it really is a very close fight, but again you would have to give the edge to the Indominus Rex. I think overall on the entire island, the most challenging fight to the Indominus Rex is the T-Rex family. That is simply because it is outnumbered, and for the short period of time that it fought Rexy, it was having a difficult time, and Rexy is no longer in her physical prime. Again, though we don't know for sure, with all the damage the Indominus Rex has taken, by the time it fights the Spinosaurus, it might be an easy pick for the Spinosaurus. And technically this would not make the most sense, because these are different films, different settings, and different timelines. But hypothetically, if all these dinosaurs were on the same island at once, I believe these are battles that fans have wanted to see for quite some time. Now if we were to assume the Irex went at the same pace that it did in Jurassic World, I don't see this dinosaur surviving Sorna. This dinosaur can't fight a Tyrannosaurus Rex family, then right away fight a Stegosaurus or Velociraptor pack, then shortly after fight another Tyrannosaurus Rex, a Ceratosaurus, and then the Spinosaurus. And then on top of that, these are not the only dinosaurs that are on the island. There are dozens of dinosaurs, some of them are carnivores, so over time the Indominus Rex would wear down, and another massive carnivore like a Spinosaurus or T-Rex would kill it off. But in 1 versus 1 scenarios, I think the Indominus Rex holds the advantage over most carnivores. Of course, you can try this with the Indoraptor or Gigonotosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion, but the Indoraptor in my opinion is far too small, and the Gigonotosaurus is much more of a natural carnivore. It is not going to attack dinosaurs for sport, it will simply hunt when it's hungry, and then it will avoid the other large carnivores like the Spinosaurus and T-Rex. Either way though, I do believe Isla Sorna is one of the most fascinating islands in the entire Jurassic Park franchise, and it would be interesting for all these massive carnivores to be on the same island. For all of you though, what do you think about this? What if the Indominus Rex lived on Site B? Would it survive the T-Rex family, the Velociraptor packs, the Ceratosaurus, the Stegosaurus, the Spinosaurus, and so on? And if you disagree with any of these results, what fight on this island would stop the Indominus Rex? And as you look back on Site B in the Lost World in Jurassic Park 3, what part of the island in your opinion is more dangerous? Is it the southern part with the T-Rex family and the Velociraptor pack? Or is it the northern part with the Spinosaurus and T-Rex? And would you consider Site B or Site A to be the more dangerous island? We know the Indominus Rex was on Site A, and in 1 vs 1 scenarios, there really was no challenge. But then again we only saw it come across the Velociraptor pack, and a past their physical prime version of Rexy. I'm sure there's many arguments that can be made for these dinosaurs on Sorna wiping the Indominus Rex out, and I think a lot of them are plausible especially with the T-Rex family and the Spinosaurus. It is one thing to defeat a solo Tyrannosaurus Rex like we saw in Jurassic World, but fighting a 1 versus 2 is completely different. I think throughout the Jurassic Park franchise, the T-Rex has become a bit underrated. 
That is because in this franchise, we have never seen it kill off another massive theropod. We saw it kill off a Carnotaurus in Fallen Kingdom, but that is nowhere near as big as the Spinosaurus, the Indominus Rex, or the Gignotosaurus. I think Jurassic World Dominion could be the first movie we see this. Aside from that though, write all of your opinions on this topic down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.